What's up guys? How are you doing? Welcome back. It's Friday, which means we've got another edition of Mr. Eric Reads. It means you're almost at the weekend. It means that you are having a Friday and hopefully a good one. It's a beautiful day outside. As promised, it's Pete the Cat and the Treasure Map. That'll be our story for the day. And these books again are by Kimberly and James Dean. I hope that you've had a wonderful day. Please continue to have a wonderful day. And I don't know, enjoy the story right here. On Mr. Eric Reads. Pete and Callie are having a sleepover. Hey, Dad, Pete says. How about a groovy bedtime story? So Pete's dad smiles and says, <laughs> You bet. It all began on a ship, a pirate ship. Captain Pete and his first mate Callie were on the trail of the treasure of Secret Island. Captain Pete steered the ship through the big waves, and the wind was pushing at his sails. Let's go, mateys, said Captain Pete. We'll be there in no time. Suddenly, first mate Callie spotted something in the water. It was a big green head. What's that? she asked. Just then, the boat began to rock. A giant arm reached up and splashed water, making the waves crash into Pete's Ah! yelled all the crew members. It's a monster! We gotta run for our lives! But did Pete worry? Ha! Not at all. He knew exactly what to do. Captain Pete raced below decks. When he came back, he was holding his guitar. That monster isn't trying to hurt us, he said. He's rocking a cool beat, actually. So Captain Pete, Pete began to rock out with his guitar. The monster nodded its head along with the music. Then it began to splash its arms in time to the music. See, said Captain Pete, he's not a scary sea monster at all. He's an awesome sea drummer. Oh no! First mate Kelly shouted as it started to rain. Look! Lightning! There must be a storm coming! Batten down the hatches! Captain Pete shouted. Everyone get ready! This looks like it's gonna be a big one! The boat began to rock back and forth. The wind picked up. The waves grew taller and taller. Soon, Captain's Pete, Captain Pete's boat was on top of the waves. Whoa, said Captain Pete as the wave almost knocked over the boat. This is not a groovy storm, Captain Pete said. Just then, Captain Pete had an idea. Hey there, friend, he yelled to the sea monster. We need some help. The monster grabbed the ship and held it up high, high above the water. The wind continued to lash the boat, but the crew now was safe. The waves couldn't topple them as long as they were in the monster's grip. Slowly, the wind died down and the water went back to normal. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! shouted the crew as the monster set them back in the water. Let's hear it for our new pal! Thanks, friend, said Captain Pete. We never would have made it through that storm without you. The monster grinned. He was happy to have helped his new buddies. Suddenly, first Kate Malley spotted, first mate Callie, of course, spotted something in the distance. It was Secret Island. Land ho! She shouted. The pirates rushed to look over the side of the boat. All of that wind had moved them to exactly where they wanted to be. On the beach, Captain Pete found his friend Grumpy Toad. He was surrounded by a glittering pile of treasure. The hoy, mateys called Grumpy Toad. 
I see you found my treasure map. I wanted to keep all this treasure for myself, but it's just no fun if there's no one around to share it. Come join me. There's plenty to go around. The crew jumped up off the boat and ran to the land. Thanks, Grumpy Toad, they all shouted. But Captain Pete wasn't happy. He was glad to have found the treasure, but something was missing. This was a celebration, and that meant music. The pirates loaded the treasure onto the ship. Then Captain Pete got out his guitar again. Hey! Captain Pete shouted. Where's our drummer? Just then, the sea monster popped his head out of the water and began splashing a beat. Rock on, said Captain Pete, matching the monster's pace. What a cool song. The crew all agreed, and soon they were all dancing to the music. Captain Pete and his dad set sail for home. Dad finished. Their adventure was over, and so is your bedtime story. It's time for bed. Pete smiled as he drifted off to sleep. A pirate's life for me. Uh, what an adventure that would be. The end. That was Pete the Cat and the Treasure Map here on Mr. Eric Reads. Tomorrow, for our Saturday story, we're going to find out a little bit more about Pete the Cat and a tip-top treehouse. So, hope you guys enjoyed that story. Please enjoy the rest of your Friday. Please continue to stay safe, wash your hands, and continue to practice kindness in everything you do. Hope to see you guys around soon. Take care.